friends and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new in today's video i'm going to take you through a process of switching on purses so i'm going to go from the that purse to this purse and i'm going to show you all the things that i'm planning on um, putting in what's different so looking inside this purse oh my sunglasses are right over there i have been really finding these bags useful and I did shove them just in there and as you can see it's a bit of a mess and I'm not loving it at all so I want to create a bit more of an organization for that for that purse um I used to have a pretty good system when my kids played um uh, rep sports and I needed to have a lot of stuff in my purse with me at all times like for example nail clippers because my son played water polo and if he forgot to clip his nails he could not get into water so just little things like that like hair ties red lipstick just in case if my daughter forgot or needed to reapply and didn't have it handy so I don't no longer need that kind of stuff but I have a lot of uh, conferences and meetings coming up so oh, that I have to go out of the house. So I want to have a bigger purse still on hand that can accommodate maybe my planner, notebooks, or anything that I need to take to my meetings. I also have, um, I like to put a big water bottle in my purse as well whenever I go anywhere. So I like to have a big enough purse for that. Maybe my shoulders won't like that, but it is what it is. So I am going to take everything out of this one and kind of reevaluate what I need to um, add or what needs to not be added. All right, so this is what was in it. As you can see, this is fairly empty. There's a hair tie, a hand lotion, um, essential oil um, roll-on, for if, if I'm still a headache coming on, and then I had gravel. I don't no longer need gravel. I don't know why I had gravel in there, but I did. So I'm going to add an extra hair tie, not dog hair. Um, and then I also wanted to add a few more things. So I wanted to add two li different lip balms. One is a local company that's made from uh, in. Ender Dawn B. It's from beeswax, I think. Uh, what is it? Ingredients, local beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, peppermint oil. And then my favorite one is this one. It's what saves my lips every winter. So I'm going to add one of those as well. And then also another one I'm going to add is a Sunbum SPF 30. Now this one I probably won't need as much going right into the smack of winter because most of the time I will be going out in the evenings. But I still want to have it as a backup as well as the SPF, uh, the Sunbum face stick. I love this stuff. Use it all the time through the summer and anytime I'm outside and it's sunny. And I also like to always add a little sample of a um, perfume because you never know when you might need it. And then the allergies have been quite bad. So I'm going to add a just a brand new, just one sleeve of these in here just so I have it is the fast acting one and then also a bottle of Advil. So that's gonna go into my little like a walk-in cosmetics pharmacy type of thing. And that's pretty much what I'm adding uh, to that. And then I also wanna just add a thing of uh, Kleenexes. Uh, these are not the greatest. They came from the dollar store and I think it's just their brand, but for urgency, I will just put those in. Um, I'd like to get the Kleenex brand if they still have them and do those, but I have two of these left, so might as well use it up. And I also want to add some form of journal. Now, this is my gratitude journal, but I just wanted to kind of show you what I would like to add because um, I just, I like to have 
a pen and paper on hand in my purse. Anything comes up to my mind that I can write it down. Any lists I can write them down instead of having gazillion papers in my bag. I can just have one. And I, I would like to either find one very similar to this that has a little uh, page marker. So that way I can just put it on the page that I'm writing and kind of keep it there. Especially if I'm creating shopping lists and things like that that I would like to just be able to immediately refer to it instead of uh, going through it. And then obviously a pen. Now, this was the stuff that was in my purse. And this has been a new addition if you've been watching my um, What's in My Purse videos. Oh, I recently had to start wearing reading glasses whenever I'm reading. It is the lowest prescription, but I did have to do it. I'm 47 almost, and I guess it's time. So that was a little bit depressing for me. I know it's not a big deal at all. A lot of people have it a lot earlier, but it was just a <laughs> one sign of aging that I really, really felt. So <laughs> I know it's silly, but anyways. Um, and then I've talked to in so many of my other videos how I like to have a like a, like a mini little purse inside my purse where I put all my feminine products because um, that way if I'm anywhere i can just leave my big purse with my husband or my friend and just take this little purse into the bathroom i hate taking big purses into the bathroom especially if they don't have a hook that i have nowhere to put them and they have to go on the floor and it drives me crazy so i like to just bring in a little tiny purse with all my stuff that i need into the bathroom and it just makes things a little bit easier and my favorite wallet i've had this wallet for years i've been using it on and off um don't see myself buying a new one because this one really works so that will obviously go in um i will probably switch out these glasses closer to the winter but they're still okay for fall they are my oakley's but <laughs> fun fact is this kind of feels very cold when it touches my skin when it's um very cold outside so i like to do ones that are full plastic um or different material anyways and my ray-bans are different materials so they work a little bit better when it's really cold outside but for now we're not there yet so hopefully it is and then <laughs> i know this is not the prettiest it's one of my daughter's uh justice stage purses <laughs> little purses but it's my change purse i need to find a better looking one but i like to keep um a little purse with all the change in because i go to this play group that i take the daycare kids with me and they take two dollars so i like to always have change on hand it's actually two dollar admission to the play group it's just to cover cost of food and coffee that they serve that's pretty much it or any art supplies so i always like to have a little purse with change um so i think that's it i'm going to put all this stuff and i did fold up all my bags i'm not very good at folding those bags but like i said they have been a lifesaver because forever i forget to bring in a bag especially when i'm just running in and it's official there isn't a store in town that i know of that gives you bags when you, even just plastic bags for purchase you cannot even do that so i have gazillion cloth bags now <laughs> because i was forgetting but these have come in so handy and been so useful in that so i'm just not like if i run into dollarama and just want to buy a couple things i always forget and then i have to buy their bag and this way um this prevents me from that it's not even the cost of the bags even though it does accumulate it's just the fact that i have so many now so and i do miss plastic bags especially for di dirty diapers i like to put them all in close it up and throw it in the garbage but mm, i have to figure what i'm gonna do with that because my garage smells like an outhouse right now so i'm going to put everything in my bag before i guess i attract even more from talking and i'll show you what that looks like okay so here it is and fun fact another reason why i like the change purse is because of the shopping cart some of the shopping carts that i go to require change for you to be able to operate them and then you get the change back but 
look at what I found in my purse, which is a little keychain with a little coin that you can use. They actually gave us this at when they implemented um, the coins uh, at the shopping cart. It's just so people would bring them back. Um, they they were giving these out so i've had one and i didn't know where it went and sure enough it's in this purse and i think last time i used this purse was last fall and yeah this purse is kate spade new york i got it at the outlets and um so here it is so in here i have my sunglasses my reading glasses my pen my phone will go in here i am recording on it so it'll go in there and this is where i'm planning on putting a notebook i put my wallets and my um feminine products in here so that way i can zip it up because you can't close this so that stays zipped up and then in here is my little pharmacy to go and my reusable bags and kleenex so i hope you guys um found this um, video useful and entertaining and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed make sure you leave me down a comment let me know of items that you might be putting in your purse that i could find useful i'm always in search for those and don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching